Good morning. So, if you're watching this, you're watching the replay, just comment replay and let me know that you watched. And I am still trying to decide what I want to do this morning. Um, I'm going to do a red eye look, and these are kind of the colors that I was looking at. I have like, I think I'm going to go though with the um red glaze cream shadow because it's very um it's almost like a maroonish brick i like it and it's sparkly hey jamie good morning hello anna good morning you guys and i'm gonna go with our serum foundation if you guys haven't tried this um it has a dropper super super nice and it's only like 23 something like that for a bottle I love it it's very good um, and it keeps my skin feeling really hydrated hey Carrie good morning Tanya all right so I'm gonna start with our um, this is our VFX uh, illuminating primer in the purple bottle and it is more like a lotion um, our other primer, I like both of them. Our other primer is more um, silica based. And good morning, Janie. Um, they're both for all skin types. I used both of them yesterday. I used the um, the other primer. Um, I like both. This one has gives you a little bit of like a, a luminescent shine. So like if you're, if you wash your face in the morning and then you put a primer on to keep all the dirt and the um, germs out of your pores, after your pores are open, this one gives you a little bit of a shine and it gives you more hydration. The other one is not hydrating. It is, um, it fills in all of your pores and wrinkles, um, gives you a very smooth base, but it is not hydrating. Um, so... All right, you guys are all gonna watch me do this eye look and hopefully it turns out okay. So, um, I am, this is a challenge. <laughs> so, let's see if you can move this down a little bit so you can see me a little bit better. Good morning, Shauna. There we go. Now all my comments are at the bottom. So, all right, good morning, Samantha. Okay, so I did my primer and then I'm gonna go in with the serum foundation and I just put a few drops on my sponge what are you guys up to today I have um I really need to good morning Keith I really need to start working with Joanna on her um <laughs> She signed up to be in the school play for Christmas, and she has a huge part, and um, she's really excited about it. So I need to go through, good morning, Amanda, I need to go through and like highlight all of her lines and everything like that and start reading through with her um, because I don't, like, I have super bad anxiety, and I hate speaking in front of people like that. I could never do the things that my kids are able to do when it comes to like speaking at school and like in front of people and they... Trevor is more like me he's like really really shy but Joanna is just like she's become more shy this year than I've ever seen her but still I she's got guts I am not not that way at all I'm glad she is Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What do you guys have planned for today? It's Thursday. You guys, I thought it was a Wednesday, and I woke up this morning, and somebody said happy Thursday, and I was like, what? So, that's exciting. Oh. You guys have weekend plans? Good 
Good morning, Haley. So I've been on Pinterest looking at um, red eye looks and then I'm like going through all my stuff and I'm, I don't know. We're going to try this, see how it goes, but we'll see. All right. So I have my serum foundation on and then I'm going to go and add some of our full coverage concealer because mama has dark circles. <laughs> Oh, I didn't sleep good last night. I don't know why. Just one of those nights, I guess. You guys say hi when you hop on. Hello, Melody. Have any of you guys ever done a red eye, like a red smoky eyelid? Um, tips appreciated. So, I um, am super pale, so I've never, like, this is the first time that I've ever worn orange or anything in my life. Um, and I've been using it a lot. Hey, Wesley. Um, I've been using it a lot lately. And I really like it. And I never thought that it would go well with my skin tone because I'm so light and pale. But it's become one of my favorite colors to do on my eyes. <coughs> oh. All right. And then I'm going to just take our contour stick. Give myself some color. Just a little. All right. Good morning, Donna Zahn. Hey, Jess. You guys are all on here this morning. All right. So our contour stick is super nice. It's really creamy. And um, you can add to it. Like if this layer wasn't enough for you, you can definitely add to it and um, darken it up a bit. And I just, I don't ever go under my chin because I have, look, y'all, look, like, I would see a line if I tried to do that. So, I leave my chin alone. Um, good morning, Mitzi. <laughs> hey, Jess. Um, so, I just do it in the places where I feel like it gives me a little bit of a shadow. Um, and I love these spoon brushes because they are just, like, Perfect for rubbing that cream in. And then up here and on the sides, just go right towards your hairline. But they rub in super nice. I love the contour stick. I have a highlight stick too. The highlight stick I could use as a foundation because I'm so light skinned. So, um, good morning, good morning, good morning. Jess, are you in class or like headed to class? Are you working today? <laughs> By the way, the next time I come home, I need to make a hair appointment. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I always try to take my contour stick and go right under my bottom lip because it just makes it look bigger pretty soon, you know. Um, is this your last, is this your last semester, Jessica, or are you going to go back? You and Michaela are going to be graduating together, girl. <laughs> but I'm proud of you, though. You're doing it. So, okay. So that just gave me, like, a little bit of darkness here and here to just kind of make my face look a little slimmer. Now, if I can get some, um, whatever that is. I don't know, a lift. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning, Aunt Nancy. I hope that's Aunt Nancy or Uncle Don. <laughs> so, okay. So I contoured. What else am I doing? 
two semesters left, so yeah, Mac and I will. <coughs> <coughs> That's funny. I cannot get rid of my cough. Okay, so I'm going to just take my... I'm going to do my um, eyebrows before I do my eye primer. So this is a... Um, this is O1 in our eyebrow pomade and it is it says blonde and I am definitely not blonde but um I like it because it's more forgiving than a dark color so this is a mirror I'm sorry y'all I'm blind Good morning, Jill. She said we can't have double party. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, Jess. She is so you when you were that age. So I follow my natural arch in my brows because if I try to go the other day, uh, my friend Jamie, she has very um, little eyebrow and I tried to um, mimic her eyebrow routine and I sent her a picture and you guys, it was, oh my God, it was crazy. She said, oh, those aren't bad brows. She was being nice. And if she wasn't, she's crazy. Um, because it was so, it was such a mess, hot mess. Um, not hot at all. But I have to follow my natural brow or I just look nuts. Um, eyebrows are one of those things I just, I hate, it's like my least favorite thing to do on my face. So if it looks halfway matched, i am just go on. <laughs> I was thinking it would just save money, you know. <laughs> I'm drinking more so we could totally party together. <laughs> oh, Jessica, you're funny. <sighs> By the time she gets to that stage, she probably won't even care. So, I don't know. And if she goes to school as long as you, she definitely won't care because she'll be working a job, going to school. all that so she'll just be like whatever and then I just comb my brows with a brow brush um and that's just to make sure that they're standing up and they're not all like crazy because I, I can't see them I comb my kids eyebrows so okay and then I'm going to go in with our eye primer for my eyelid you guys I was not a uh, believer in this because I was like my eyeshadow stays on fine I don't have any problems with it and then I got it to try it because everybody was like, you got to try it. And I will show you just why I love this. Because I have such light skin and dark circles. And I've always had dark circles. And the other day, somebody said that I need to drink more water. You guys, it does not matter how much water I drink. Because I drink a lot of water. Um, I always have dark circles. I don't know if it's lack of sleep today. Probably. Um, or what, but look at the difference in my eyes. Like, look at the color change and how much better, like, my colors evened out. I can't even with this eye primer. Um, some people use it underneath their eyes for the dark circles. I haven't done that, um, but I have used it as concealer when I have a, a pimple or something that just will not cover. So, it's like miracle cream in a jar. Um, if you, I did, I did see a lady though that used it under eye. She had really horrendous, um, just really dark. No, girl. <laughs> 
No, I try to like just not even really do too much with my brows because I'm so afraid that if uh, if I do too much, it's going to be crazy. I'm honestly scared to death to do brows. Hey, Lori. Good morning. That's like my worst thing. That looks good. <laughs> Thanks. You use unique primer on your brows. Well, you need to get some of this primer. Um, I like our primer. The only thing that I notice about it is like if I don't use an eye primer and I go to put my um my powder found or my powder colors on, um, they just go right on smooth. And uh whenever I use the eye primer, it's like a little bit drier, so I have to actually like pat. So it's a little different. But I'm watching you for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do this red eye and I'm going to do a smoky red eye. So I'm going to smoke it out with a little bit of the orange and I've been, cause I'm on this orange kick. Um, let's see here. As my hair is nuts and I throw it up and now I have hair all over the place. All right, so this is number seven, and this is a blush on, and this one is called um, Sweet Almond. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. All right, so I'm just going to take that, and I'm going to go right up underneath my um, brow. And this is more of a transition color for me because I'm so pale, um, but I like the orange in it, and I like the... Um, the tint with my skin tone. It brings my eyes out. I have blue eyes, so it like kind of makes my eyes blue and orange are contrasting. I'll take all the help I can get. All right. So that's the only, I just go right there. And that is the sweet almond number seven. That's a blush on. <laughs> Okay, and then this one is 09 in the blush, and this one is um, something apricot. Look, I can't remember. I use these all the time. It's old age. This one is peach blossom, my bad. I don't even have an apricot. I don't know what I'm thinking. All right. All right, so this one is Peach Blossom. It's 09, and it is a blush. And this, I'm going to go right above my crease, and it's just a little bit darker of an orange. Good morning, good morning. Hello, you guys. Say hi when you get on. And I'm just going to go right above my crease. And it just darkens that transition color a little bit. My eyes look different. Y'all can see it too. I can see it in the phone. There we go. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to start in with the red. Now, if this doesn't work, it doesn't work. But um, I'm going to use the red glaze. <coughs> the red glaze in the cream shadow. And I'm going to thought about doing my cream shadow first but I wanted to do the transition colors and then do this so with this I'm just gonna go right on top of my eyelid I'm just gonna cover the whole thing and this is super super creamy um, but you have to wipe off what you don't want because it when it dries it's set and it is not going to come off um, our cream shadows are so nice. I really like them. Um, they have a good pigment. You can layer if you want a darker. Um, and they don't leave a crease in your eyelid. That is probably like my number one thing is I cannot stand whenever I have a crease. 
after wearing an eyeshadow for like a couple of hours. It just drives me nuts and it's there all day and you wipe it and then it's like your color is gone. These do not crease and they are super, super creamy. Um, really nice feeling. Okay. So I'm going to just go back over that because I want it to be darker. Because this is a red eye. And see how it gave it just a little bit darker of a tint just by um, adding one more layer to that. It's super pretty. Okay. So I'm just going to let that set for just a minute. Clean off some of these brushes. Good morning, Casey. Is that from having primer first? No. Um, the, the reason I use the primer is really to just lighten my, um, my eyelids because they're so dark. I'm having dark circles. Um, the primer you don't have to use with a cream shadow at all. Um, and that I wasn't, I didn't use a uh, primer at all for a long time because I would always do like a, a light pink or the sugar brown cream shadow and I would use it on my whole eyelid like a primer. Um, but it had a little bit of a shimmer to it. So I just got this primer and started using it, but the creams I'll show you on my arm. So this is the red glaze and I have no primer on my arm. This is from this morning I was just looking at colors but look at the color and that's with no primer and that's one one swipe so it's very pigmented um, and they stay on really well and then once they're dry they're dry so some of these are lips lipsticks that I had this morning out messing with and stuff like that so I forgot to do Okay, while we wait on my eyes to dry, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my blush. And I'm just going to use some of that um, Sweet Almond, the 07. It's right here on my cheeks. And then I also have this blush. This is number 17. This one is called Love Letter. It's really pretty and it's got a highlight in it. Um, very pigmented. Every time I've used this, it is... Like, it um, is unforgiving. <laughs> but I like the, I like a lot of blush. So, and I'm going to darken my face up a little bit whenever I do my powder. So, as um, whenever I do, like I set my face, you can use a translucent. Um, sometimes I use a perfecting powder and that's what I'm going to use today and I just go in and this just sets your powders that are on your face so they don't move um, you can use the perfecting powder as a foundation itself um, if you like a really light coverage I personally lack a heavy coverage just because I like to, to know I'm, I'm covered, <laughs> but, um, I really, really, really like our perfecting powder. I like the translucent too. The translucent actually is like really cool feeling. So in the summertime, it keeps me from sweating after I've applied my makeup. It feels, um, cool to my face and it just kind of keeps my um, face from feeling like really hot after and it keeps you from feeling like your makeup is going to melt off so I really like that okay so I'm going to go in with uh oh I lost my love letter again there it is okay love letter is number 17 it's a shimmer and I'm just going to take it and go in on my eye and 
and I'm just gonna go like right in the crease. I know why people always do their eyes before they do the rest of their makeup because of the fallout and because you can get that like sharp line. I just don't do it. I feel like it's doing it backwards. So, hey Babs, how much is all that stuff? So the, um, the blush ons are $9.90. That's what they retail for. And that is like these little things in the eyeshadows. Um, the transparent powder, it's a bigger container. It's this size. This is not, this is perfecting face powder. It's $12.90. The transparent is the same size. It's $14.90. Um, let's see. In the cream shadows, which are these jars, um, these are $12.90 as well. And the eye primer is $10.90. Eye primer, so worth it. So, um, if you wanting, if you're wanting like a running list, I can make you one out. Just, just let me know. All right. I don't know about this eye. I don't know if it's red enough. I feel like it's missing something. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm gonna go in with. Let's see what color is this. This is more like a purpley color. This is number 16. It's called Dark Berry. Um, I'm going to go in this in my corner just because it's a darker. It's going to give it a little bit of... Do you... Yes, I have a book. I'll bring you a book whenever I come home or I can send it to you. And then um, I can um, give you my website too. And you can look online. But you can order through me and I charge less shipping. It's $8.99 shipping online, but I always charge $3 flat. So I'm going to do a bulk order on the 15th. So if you want something, let me know, and then I can throw it in there, and then you just pay the $3 shipping. So. All right. Here we go. That gave me the dark I was looking for. I just want it right there on the corner of my eye. I like a dark, smoky eye. You want a book, Babs? Sure. Yes. You guys send me your address and I will send books out today. Because I have a bunch laying around. Um, Let's see. I'm going to be in Marshall on December. Let's see. I will be there on like the first weekend of November because I have an, an event in Slater. Um, and it's going to be at, I think it's a Volt Fest building. It's a Christmas event holiday thing hey Jenny and then I'm going to be in Marshall I think the 14th of December they're doing a holiday event at um, the community center so I'll take all my stuff and you can come and look and try things or whatever um, Jessica and then we'll we'll talk so okay so I'm going to go in with this darker um, number 16 that I had it's just the darker blush, blush on. And I'm gonna go right underneath my eye with a smaller brush um, as a shadow. Or, um, sorry, not a shadow. As a liner, because I like, I love, love, love uh, using a powder as a liner. Good morning, Twyla. Good morning, Evelyn. Hello, hello. All right, guys. 
<laughs> I feel like I'm awake now. That's good. All right. And then as always, this is like my signature thing. I, I think everybody does this. But I love a dark eye. But I also love having a little bit of light powder. This is number 13 um, in our eyeshadow. I need to mark my book so I don't have to look through it all the time. There it is. This is Sateen Ribbon. Um, it's just a very vanilla, shimmery. And I'm just going to take this and go right in the corner. And I go over just a little bit, like right in here. Um, just because it, I, I think I read this in a like Women's Day magazine whenever I was like 14 at my grandma's house. Um, and it says you, you look more awake and Lord knows I knew that. So that's why I've done it since I was that age. Um, good housekeeping. Some some magazine my grandma had. Thank you, Melody. This look is I am not a professional, you guys. I am so far from it. Um, it's so easy. Like, I don't do anything that's super difficult, and I'm just messing around. So I'm gonna take my um this is 05 in our liner, and it's a pencil liner sharpening, and I'm gonna take good lord, y'all. I got blush up here All right i'm going to take that and i am going to go right along my lash line on my lid and i use brown because i'm so pale that i feel like brown is a warmer color for my skin tone um if i use black then it yeah babs um it it is just seems too dark so look at my eye on this side i used the liner and then look at this side like look how defined and all i did was i just went right along my lash line that's it um but look how like much it helps brighten your eyes up makes a pop good morning shelby so i'm gonna do that on the other side All right, we match. <laughs> and then I just go right along my um, waterline and my um, I, um, I can't think this morning. Right along my uh, eyelash line on the bottom with a pencil. And I just do it in the brown. And that's it. It just makes my eyes stand out. Um, all right, what kind of mascara do you guys want to see today? Good morning, Ellie. I have Star Look Zen Deep Black 3D and Optimal Style, and I like them all. So, what do you guys want to see? Um, let's see. The Deep Black was my very first favorite. It is a good one. Um, Star Look is our fanciest. Um, I'll say fanciest because it's. It's just the most high dollar one. Um, it, it's all right. I like it. The Zen is one of my favorites. Optimal Style has been my most recent favorite because it is like, I don't know. I just really like it. It extends your lashes really well. And then the 3D also gives you an extension. So what do you guys want to see? I haven't used Deep Black in a while. I might use that one today. I love mascara. Let's see. All right. I'll go ahead. I'm going to use the deep black just because I haven't used it in a while. And it has a silicone. Oh, you want to use optimal style? All right, Lori. 
let's do it. I love this. I this is my most recent mascara. Um, I did 3D and Starlight the other day, case. So the Optimal Style has a really nice um, silicone brush. I like how look you can see each and every little um, thing on here, and it's not clumped with mascara. I like that. So this gets straight to the root. And separate your lashes. Now look, or I'm gonna touch my eyeball. And I like that I can get way over in the corners. I'm gonna do one eye and then show you the difference. into the root okay I don't know if you guys can see that but my lashes are like super separated <laughs> did I say something wrong I don't know probably okay so I'm going on the other side I love that I can get like down in the corner on my bottom rows um, just because I have less hair like towards the inside and I like to separate all that I have and uh, it just makes them fuller Fuller, longer, prettier. I do love this mascara though. You can see like they're all separated and just like psh. I don't like false lashes, um, just because I feel like I have pretty good lashes. I was graced with that. My whole family does. Like, all the, par the poor boys all do, too. Um, and they are not that big of a fan of it. But um, I have always had pretty good lashes. Um, I do have a lot of lashes that are um, falling out, like, since I've gotten older. But not to the point where it's so noticeable. And I feel like I don't have lashes. So, um, my biggest problem is I like to, um, base, not root, but people say pluck brows. I do pluck my brows, Jessica. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, I've always had pretty good lashes though, and like they're pretty thick, but I like to, um, separate them so that it looks like I have like a full line when I was in um when I was younger I liked that I could take my eyelashes with my mascara and just like swing to the side and it looked more like an angle with my eyelashes and it it wasn't fanned out all the way across I'm not into that look anymore I want them like all the way across so they look like falsies but they're not falsies no 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 <laughs> oh. so okay so this is my look today. I don't have any lip on. Let's see. Oh, my nose is running. I think it's this cold basement. Ugh. All right. So that's my red red eye. I feel like it's not the same on one side, but whatever. I'm gonna go with it. I think I'm gonna do a dark. Me like this, yeah. I'm gonna do a dark lip, all right. So, every time that I use my liner as a lipstick, I use our lip conditioner, it just is like so good. I love it. I use it all the time. Um, my kids used it before school today, so I just take my lip liner, 
I gotta get my mirror back out. And I lined the outside of my lips first. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Melanie. I almost think it's easier to lay your brush on the side, um, especially if your hands shake. I'm sometimes that way. And then I just color in. I really, really, really love this liner. It's number 219. It's such a good berry color. And it lasts a long time whenever you do that. Also, if you guys have a translucent powder, let's see. Get that back out. I read this, I think, in Good Housekeeping, too. Um, if you take a, fan, a big brush and you take a, like a Kleenex. It keeps your color on longer. So, I don't know if that works, but my color stays on pretty long, so. That's all I did today. Red eye, red lip, very berry. Hey, Becky. Um, if you guys have any questions about the products that I used today, actually, let's highlight. Let's do a highlighter. I didn't do any of highlight. I have the three-in-one highlight palette. I love this. It has like a rosy pink color. It has a vanilla and it has um, like a coppery color. So I think today, let's just go rosy because we've done everything else rosy. Ooh, that one's the wrong side. Huh? All right. Okay, guys. So, if you have questions on any of the products that I use today, let me know. And I will help you get set up with whatever you're wanting. Um, this red eye would be good for Christmas. Valentine's Day. Whatever. Every day. Today, I'm doing like some grocery shopping later and I don't know cleaning the bathroom so this is my bathroom cleaning look um man look how good this stuff stays I'm like using a baby wipe hardcore over here and it is so I should have known better if you're looking for staying powder power oh my gosh you guys <laughs> this is it and don't forget to use setting spray you are welcome babs all right if you guys have any questions i love our setting spray it smells so nice and clean and like um i have used a couple of different setting sprays and whoo they make me sneeze i have an allergy attack afterwards so this is my go-to just has a very clean scent and it's very light. Um, Pharmacy uses like the best of the best when it comes to ingredients and the product. You guys, this is still on. Um, so their products I feel like are so much like easier on my skin. They set better with your, um, just your pores and everything. Keeps your face cleaner. I try to do like all this healthy stuff for my kids and stuff all the time and um i like that our skincare routine and and stuff like that is also incorporated in that um just being greener so being better for you oh, man. 
need me a makeup organizer. All right. So if you guys have questions, let me know. If you guys want to um, join my team, like all this stuff that I just put on my face, like the eye primers, ten ninety, that would be half price for you. Five forty five. That's it. Um, if you wanted eyeshadows, like eyeshadows are ten ninety. Those would be half price, five forty five. So if you're interested in um, starting up to sell. You make 50% is the base commission, and then depending on how much you sell, you can move up, and um, you can make up to 75% commission. That's crazy. So, like, on $100, if you're making 75% commission, you're getting $75 back. That's, that's pretty life-changing whenever you are um, looking at an income for your family, and like, um, when I first started, I just wanted the discount, but this has helped my family in so many ways lately. Um, I was sick like all last month. I still have the cough and stuff from having pneumonia and, um, we have been able to be comfortable and be okay. I don't know how many times that Marcus has bought dinner for my family because I just felt horrible. I did not feel like cooking and he works um, he goes to work at six in the morning. By the time he gets home at like four o'clock, four thirty, five o'clock sometimes, he's he's not in the mood to cook dinner. So and I don't blame him. But um that's really saved my family and like I started out just wanting to I mean, I just wanted to have a discount on my makeup and now I'm like this is helping my family. So it is more like serious to me. Um, and I love our products. I feel like we have really good stuff to offer. He is great, Jessica. He is the best and I love him, but he does not like to fix dinner after he's worked for 11 or 12 hours, <laughs> but I don't blame him. I wouldn't either. I like to fix dinner and I haven't worked for 11 or 12 hours, but, and then last night I worked, I, Last night I had roast and I put it in the crock pot and like um, carrots and baked potatoes. And Trevor hates most meat. So, of course, he was just like not having it. He was like, I don't like this. I don't want to eat it. So, there's always that side to it where I'm like, I don't want to cook for you because you just complain. So, but whatever. <laughs> Trevor is like the least of my worries when it comes to food because I'm like, eat it or don't eat it, kid. Eventually, he'll eat it. So, all right. Well, if you guys have any questions or you want to know more about joining or anything like that, I'm around, so let me know. I'll be here all day. Um, yeah, cleaning the bathroom. Save me from that, please. Um, all right. So, have a good Thursday. I'm super excited. Tomorrow's Friday. I don't know why because I'm home every day, but I love weekends because my kids are home and we don't have, like, our normal routine. I like that. Um, so yeah. All right. That's all I have. Have a good Thursday. See you later.